So after several days of unusually nice weather, um, we actually had a bit of April rain today, which is really, it was wonderful to wake up this morning and listen to the rain and then to walk outside and smell the rain and just listen to it softly falling around me and watch the birds as they reacted to it and listen to the world just sound and behave differently than it had. It um, has a tendency to make me very contemplative, uh, meaning that it makes me want to think a little more and walk more softly and speak more softly. Um, anyway, with the rain though comes an indoor day uh, for the most part, but I do also love being outside in the rain sometimes, but I it made me remember some things that I used to love to do with my kids when um, they were little and we wanted to get out in the rain after weeks and weeks and weeks or days and days of um, some rainy weather, but uh, in April, it's warm enough to get out, even though it's still raining. So one of the best things that we ever did, or our favorite memories anyway, is making boats out of milk cartons. So I came back in the house and I made this boat out of uh, just a regular old um, one quart milk carton. Um, you open it up at the top like you normally do, and then you kind of, I'm gonna, empty some rocks out of it. You squeeze it in the center so that it forms kind of a triangle at the bottom. And I'm sure the people who know uh, parts of boats, they could tell you what this, what this part, this uh, seam here is. Um, but the purpose of this seam is that it cuts through the water better than if you just left it a flat square like that. So um, putting a little seam in it makes it run better. And then you just seal it up with some um, duct tape or any kind of really good waterproof tape will work just fine. You just seal it up and then you cut a hole in the top. You use the, the chunk of that hole as your sail. Take a stick and stick it in a hole and attach the sail to the stick and here's the trick though if you put this boat in the water without just without anything in it just empty it's going to tip over like this what you need is something called ballast ballast is simply weight at the bottom and one of the easiest things to use as ballast is just simple old rocks you can also strangely enough use a bit of water um, the a lot of the rocks actually that are part of the original cities in the United States and in other and in other parts of the world uh, were actually ballast rocks in the bottoms of the ships um, coming in and out of those countries. So I'm going to um, take this downstairs because it has stopped raining um, and the, the puddles have gone away already. So I'm going to take this downstairs and um, put it in a sink of water for you and I'll show you what I mean. I have um, a tub of water in a utility sink and I'm going to just put this boat in the utility sink or in the tub of water so that you see what I mean about it doesn't float very well um, as it is. Oh, and of course, of course it floats. <laughs> It's just like, oh, there it goes, <laughs> capsized as soon as I tried to move it. So what we need here is, again, we need ballast. Um, I'm going to take my, my uh, handful of rocks and, whoops, now it's full of water and it's starting to completely sink. So I'm going to take my handful of rocks and put in it. All right, so... Now we have some rocks at the bottom and what that does is it just keeps it balanced and you want only just enough rocks at the bottom to weigh down that um, seam. So just the part that is cutting through the water. That will keep the whole thing balanced while it moves through the water. It's supposed to, the reason I'm showing this to you today is because it's supposed to rain again 
Um, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, if you live in Oregon and you're watching this, um, keep in mind it's supposed to rain again later this week or maybe early next week. I don't remember, but coming up pretty soon. And so maybe you want to make a little boat like this. When my kids were little, we used to take them out. You know, we'd put on our rain jackets and we'd put on our galoshes or our rain boots and we would make these little boats and we would take them out and float them in whatever puddle or um, gutter or what have you that we could find where we could easily retrieve them. The important thing to keep in mind is that you want to be able to retrieve it because you don't want it to become a piece of trash in the um, in the in the water that that you're playing in. So remember to not leave it behind. Do do your best to pick it up and take it home with you. I hope you have a good time with your boats. It, uh, next time it rains, maybe I'll take this one out and see if I can find a nice puddle to, to play with it in. And if not, well, you can always just play with it in the bathtub. Uh, anyway, have a good time with the boats. They are, they are a fun way to use some recycl recyclable materials. All right, so this is Nessa with Outdoor Education Adventures, hanging outside on this nice rainy day, um, playing in the rain. I hope that you will spend some time outside in the rain this week and that you will maybe take a little boat and float it in a mud puddle because I, I kid you not, it is a very fun thing to do. So enjoy the rain, get outside in it. It's beautiful, it's soft, and it smells good. <laughs> so um, please enjoy it. If you have enjoyed this video, I hope that you will share it with your friends and your coworkers and your kids' teachers and whoever else that you might um, consider sharing it with. I hope that you will find us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and that you will head on over to our website. That's Outdoor Education Adventures, OutdoorEdAdventures.com outdooredadventures.com and while you're there click on the donate button and leave us some love in the form of a little bit of funds to help us uh, take care of these videos for you all right um, until next time stay happy stay healthy get outside and take a deep breath of fresh air um, and don't forget to enjoy what you have all right thanks